But before I get into that, I'd like to tell you a little story. Now, when God was creating the world for mankind to prosper and multiply, he decided to give each group two virtues. For example, he made the Japanese patient and hardworking, the Germans tenacious and studious, he also made the Americans pragmatic and organized, and so on. But when God got to Texans, because <laughs> they are a people group after all, um, he told the record-keeping angel that Texans will be honest, intelligent, and Democrats. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to the joke. Hold on. <laughs> now, the angel noticed once God was finished that Texans had three virtues. Whereas the rest of the groups only had two. He pointed this out to God, and God said, oh yeah, you're right, this probably wanted to give the Texans some sort of advantage over the other people groups. So, but I can't take away virtues that God has given. I mean, after all, I am God. But what he decided to do instead was Texans would still have the three virtues, but they could only use two at a time. Which explains why a Texan who is honest and Democrat cannot be intelligent. <laughs> a Texan who is intelligent and Democrat cannot be honest. And, and a Texan who is honest and intelligent can never be a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have the great privilege of introducing you to one of my all-time favorite Texas Republicans. Not only is he one of my all-time favorite Texas Republicans, but he is one of my two favorite speakers, alongside his son. This man is extremely honest and incredibly intelligent. Please give a warm welcome to Senator Ted Cruz's dad, Raphael Cruz. Woo! 